Hello friends, welcome to the next video. Now we will be learning the next definition which is a very important and a slightly big definition called as operations on languages. Let's get started. <music> So now, if you look at the operations on languages, we have a total of four different operations. Now, before I start explaining you all of this, you will not understand it more than 70% unless and until I complete the topic. So it is very important now that you understand the definitions and immediately post the definitions, I'll be doing small examples on it. And those examples will actually clarify the definition 100% to you. So right now, what is important is you understand the definitions as I say. So the first definition which we have over here is called as union of two languages. Now union operation is very simple. When I say union of two languages, the definition says, let L1 and L2 be the two languages, then L1 union L2 will be the set of all x comma y most important we have a comma in between that's where it is going to be distinguished from the remaining operations so l1 union l2 is set of all x comma y such that x belongs to l1 and y belongs to l2 that is nothing but my union operation. So union operation simply says that pick up something from one set, pick up something from another set, join together and that is my union operation. The next operation says concatenation of two languages. It is defined as let L1 and L2 be the two languages. Then I say L1 dot L2 will be set of all X dot Y such that x is going to belong to l1 and y will be belonging to l2 so l1 union l2 was union that is nothing but simply joining l1 and l2 whereas l1 dot l2 is the concatenation operation that is everything in first set will be concatenated with each and everything one by one available in the next set going ahead the next definition which we have is the closure of the language. Now for the closure, a very important property because this is something that we are actually going to carry as a de facto standard throughout the syllabus. Okay, so we can consider more of it like a legacy for us because this is something which will be repeated again and again. And if you don't understand the concept of closure, understanding everything after this will be a big problem. So I say let l be the language then my l star is called as the closure of a language and it is defined as union of all the l i's where i is going to go from zero to infinity what is important right now to understand before we proceed to the example is the closure of the language is denoted by l star and it is set of all li's where i is running from zeros to infinity so what is important is it is denoted by l star and it is running from zero to infinity let's go ahead to the next definition following the closure the next definition which i have is called as the positive closure of a language now the positive closure of a language is defined as let l be the language then the positive closure l plus denoted by l plus is again set of all li's quite similar to the previous one but over here this set of all li's is union of i is equal to something to infinity previously this something was zero now the only difference over here is the something is one so positive closure is nothing but set of all li's running from one to infinity and denoted by l plus so these are the four operations on the languages that are important. So summarizing these four operations, I say they are the first one called as the union, then concatenation, then closure and positive closure. Now let's understand how we can call it in the simplest name to remember. So moving on to the first operation that is union. So I say whenever I talk of union, 
I say I will never look for a combination. Remember, this is very important. Whenever I talk of union, I never look for combination. The next definition concatenation. Whenever I look for concatenation, I am looking for the combinations. The next definition closure. Whenever I talk of closure, I am looking for zero or more repetitions and the last one positive closure. When we talk of positive closure, I am looking for one or more repetitions. So having completed the definition, let's look a very small example on it so that we understand 100% of it. So we have over here, my language is stated as follows. I have my L1 given as 0001 and L2 given as 00110 and 11 respectively. So if I say I want to find the first operation that is L1 union L2, it is merely joining L1 and L2. So L1's everything will be coming over here. That is L1 has 0, 0 and 0, 1. We grab it over here. Among L2, we have 0, 0, but we see that 0, 0 is already a part of it. Therefore, we ignore that. And I take the next one as 1, 1, 0 and the next one as 1, 1. That is nothing but my union operation. Therefore, I say in union, we don't look for combinations. The next one, the next operation which we have is L1 dot L2. If I talk of L1 dot L2, I will be initially taking L1's first string that is 0, 0 and appending it with L2's first string that is 0, 0. So the number which I get over here is 0, 0 dot 0, 0, which is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0. Again, I take 0, 0 from L1 and I append 1, 1, 0 ahead of it and I get this string. Again, I take 0, 0, append 1, 1 ahead of it, I get the third string. Going ahead, this time I will be taking 0, 1 from L1 and appending it with 0, 0 of L2. Again, I take 0, 1 of L1 and append it with 1, 1, 0 of L2. And lastly, 0, 1 of L1 appended with 1 1 of L2 that is my concatenation operation. So whenever I talk of concatenation operation I am basically looking for combinations. So now you can understand when I say L1 in L2 why I used to say it is nothing but no combination and L1 dot L2 is nothing but looking for only combinations. The next part of the definition the third one we are looking for L star that is nothing but the closure of a language. For that, let's go to the new slide first so that we can start afresh. So we have over here our L given as AB. Now whenever I say L is given as AB, if I say what is going to be my L2, my L2 is going to be nothing but L1 dot L1. And L1 dot L1 is nothing but taking AB twice. Similarly, if I say what is L3, L3 is going to be nothing but L1 dot L1 dot L1, which is nothing but taking AB thrice. Similarly, if I say what is L1 in that case, L1 in that case is nothing but AB. So I can also say L1 is as good as L. So I have my L1 with me, I have my L2 with me, I have my L3 with me. Similarly, I can say my L4 will be equal to AB, 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 AB four number of times. What is my L0 going to be? My L0 is going to be nothing but no input to be taken from the set AB. So since no input is to be taken, we never write it as zero in automata theory. We just discussed it in the previous topic. A string of length zero is denoted by epsilon and therefore we write L naught is equal to epsilon. 
if now I say what is going to be my L star, we all know that L star is nothing but union of I equal to 0 to infinity of all allies. So, can I say it is nothing but L0 union, L1 union, L2 union, L3 union, L4, so on and so forth up to L infinity. And we all are very much acquainted with the operations of union. When I say what is union of L0, L1, L2 up to infinity, it is merely joining all those things or creating no combinations of it. So, I say it is going to be nothing but epsilon. A B A B A B A B A B A B so on and so forth up to infinity. So if I look at this particular example, can I typically conclude that my L star is nothing but zero or more repetitions of A B? Exactly. That's what my L star means and that's exactly what we wrote across the definition. It is meaning zero or more repetitions. So if I say the input string given to me is CA and what is L star? The only answer to it is it is zero or more repetitions of CA. So the language will have strings like epsilon CA, 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 so on and so forth till infinity. Remember, CA taken twice doesn't become CCAA. The string has to maintain the order. Similarly, the fourth definition, which we are talking of L plus, L plus was called as the positive closure. So the only difference compared to the previous one over here is, it is one or more repetitions. By that, I mean, what is L plus? L plus is nothing but one or more repetitions of AB. So one repetition of AB will be AB, two repetitions will be AB, AB, three repetitions will be AB, AB, AB. Four repetitions will be AB, 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 so on and so forth till infinity. So, it is called as zero or more repetitions for L star and one or more repetitions for L plus, that is positive closure. So, with this, we complete with this video. See you in the next session. Thank you.